You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to be. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ian again. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe using that button below. So I'm in Beijing, live here, work here. We're heading for autumn, mid-autumn festival um, week or a few days. And then after that, we're heading for golden week. And it got me thinking if someone was coming to Beijing and they wanted my advice on what to do for the seven days that they would be here, then what would I recommend them to do? So it got me thinking. So I would probably say, if you're here for seven days, you're going to eat a lot of food, fantastic food. You're going to get stuck in traffic, trust me, you will get stuck in traffic. I would also say get about using the bike. It's very cheap, great fun, and you see a whole different side of the city. So that maybe leave about five good days to do something spectacular in Beijing and there's lots of amazing things that you can do. So one of the first things I would recommend, and that's probably my number five, would be a visit to San Latun. Super cool place, lots of shopping, amazing restaurants. It's where all the cool people hang out, so great pubs, bars, nightclub, and lots of paparazzi photographing people with fantastic fashion. You have to see it, lots of places to see and do. So my number five would be San Latun. Yeah, my number four I think would be get out into the Bohai Park area, get out and have a look at some of the hutongs there. So number four, get out, look at some of the local area. Hutongs, Bohai Park, around about that area, fantastic lakes, um, local food, great bars again to sit and um, have a drink at and I just watch the world go by, so I would say that's my number four. Number three is a great place, I love it. It's the 798 Art District. So for number three, I would say, number three, I would say head up to the 798. So northeast of the city, it's full of art, nightlife, bars, food, restaurants, cool people, but the art is just spectacular. It's a kind of old disused factory area has been converted into a, a very bohemian area. If you want to see what's happening in China with the art culture and the fashion and design, then get yourself to the 798. I would recommend that. We're also going to see three dinosaurs stacked on top of each other in a cage. Yeah. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I think the last time I was here there was something different on this wall. 
Um, this time it looks like it's a, a mural, a mural of uh, Beijing. It's quite possibly becoming a little bit more uh, commercialised. A lot of coffee shops and um, fashion outlets, but it is still very much centred around cool hip art design and things to see and do. Number two, I would say get yourself down to Tiananmen Square in Forbidden City. Um, fantastic historical place, obviously. Lots of things to see around Tiananmen Square and around um, the Forbidden City. There's some amazing local areas to visit, see. Food is fantastic, but obviously going through these historical monuments and significant historical areas for um, local people, then I would recommend Forbidden City in Tiananmen Square. And the top place, the number one place that I would recommend that people go and visit would be absolutely the Great Wall of China. For me, it was a childhood dream to go see it. I've been a few times, never disappoints. So I would recommend you, number one thing, if you're coming to Beijing, go see the Great Wall of China. It is outstanding, breathtaking, and well worth the visit. So that's me, that's my five top things to do if you've got seven days in Beijing. Thank you. If you do happen to have another couple of days and you're in Beijing that little bit longer, then I would recommend a couple more things. One is um, Summer Palace, so if the, the weather is good, get out to the Summer Palace, it's fantastic. Go to the Olympic Park, huge lots to do there, and it's a good thing again to see. And if you want to go and see a traditional temple, I would say go and have a look at the the Temple of Heaven or the Lama Temple, 
both are thoroughly recommended. That's over and above my top five. So this is me signing out, wear a mask. Take care, be safe. Thank you. Peace out this time.